we're back and we just picked up, we just gone to this guy's house. I picked up this GTX 960, he tested it in front of me, so I, I know it works, but apparently it may have some issues with drivers. Doubt it, because the guy was running on Windows 7, so I doubt there's any issues. Thing boot up fine, no other factoring, nothing, nothing actually wrong. Also, on the way home, we also had to get some spray paint to fix up that NZXT case from yesterday. Um, it's a bit... It needs some work to be done with the black because um, to make it look a little better because it's NZXT and I, have, I give it a high respect. I give it a high respect because it's such a good looking Stormtrooper case. But anyways, let's hit the Bunnings Warehouse to get some paint. Got back from the store, some super super auto, pick up some multi purpose spray. This is stuff that um, Tech Your City uses. Spray this stuff on um, on me, on my hand, to see if there's any actually residue. There's actually no residue, which is surprising. We then also picked up some black spray paint, which we're gonna spray the PSU to make them look, look more stealth. And also, while I'm spraying the NZXT's um, side panels, those black meshes, to make that look brand new. It's pretty much restoring that case, which is gonna be a good. Um, which will be good because it's such a good case. Anyways, let's head home. Anyway, so we are back home currently and look what we got. As we said before, some multi-purpose spray. This stuff, when I spread it on my hand in the store, has left no residue. And the great candidate for this is the i5 Favor 70, um, 8 gigabytes of RAM and a cheap motherboard, the potato PC. Anyway, so let's test it out. This is it. Let's give it a spray. Apparently this dries with no residue, I guess. And if there is a residue, I'm I'm disappointed in Tech Here City. Okay, so to answer the question, is this thing actually um leaves a residue? Um No, not really. There's still dust on here, there's still bits of residue. I can still feel that residue is there. But not that much. I don't know, if Tech DSCD believes that this is a lot of residue, or a little residue, I think we should be fine. Okay, so this is say it leaves some residue, not that much. I believe if I left this outside, like in a wind, with like really good airflow, and this will evaporate way faster. It's just like leaving a plate under your bed, and it won't evaporate, but if I left this maybe outside, in the sun, or with good airflow, this, I believe this would definitely, definitely, Evaporate, but anyways, pretty much right now we can. I'm gonna install this into this into this case. Uh, we, we have three cool moon fans and two red fans. So this pretty much goes in here, and after that we're gonna get a power supply which goes right here. And we're gonna use a 420 watt. But the issue about the 420 watts is that the 420 watts are, are gray. It might not look that good. That's why we, that's why we also bought black spray paint for that purpose too. So when tomorrow we're going to Tonga, we will have a good we can we can make these uh, power supplies really stealth. Anyways, I'm gonna start building. Okay, so pretty much one thing I've realized is that yeah, a PSU, without a PSU cover, can I make my own PSU cover? It's because I have such a, so many junk cases. Is there a way for me to bend the cases so that I can make my own one? Actually, I might actually try that. Hmm. That's actually, that's actually a half bad idea. But anyways, apart from that, um, the motherboard uh, uh, installed it. Uh, one of the most craziest things because the IO shield is kind of misaligned in the slot because of cheap cases. It, I was like struggling to put the thing in. But anyways, this is finally done. Um, what else do we do? Pretty much, we can't really do much else because we still need a power supply. And one thing that we can do is just install a GPU. That's and that's and that's one PC. We've got a 204 gigabyte SSD, so this computer will not um, come with a hard drive because the SSD is big enough. If I do have, if I do have spare 500 gigabyte hard drives, I might just chuck one in. It really depends, or if I want to sweeten the deal for someone to buy it, I can easily chuck in a 500 gigabyte hard drive, which costs me around about 10 bucks. Anyways, let's head downstairs to go start working on the NZXT case and respraying it. Okay, 
Okay, so as you see from here, you can see that I've taped all around this, uh, all around the panel, so I want any of the black paint onto the actual red, as I don't want that to happen. Anyways, I think the wind might blow, so I might have to do, do a better painting job in the corners as most, and some of the parts are flying off, but anyways, let's start. So pretty much first one done. Looking around it, it looks pretty good to be honest. Wow, that's actually, that's actually a pretty good result. Um, not really many gaps. Uh, look, it's all perfectly black now. But as you see on this one, you see that there's a lot of, a lot of, let's just say, misfortunes. On this one, you see that it's a bunch of rust there and stuff. So that's, that's something I'm, what I'm mostly going to do is gonna take the screws off again and respray this one. And also, we're going to do the same on this one, which is especially bad. As you see there, that's a bunch of rust. Okay, so okay, so last thing I'm gonna do is definitely gonna rip up all the newspaper and just leave it, um, leave the actual um, piece of side panels left to dry because right now they're blowing the papers, blowing everywhere, and it's becoming really inconvenient and really stupid. <laughs> Okay, so currently outside, back to check out, it's been over maybe about two hours now. Is this dry? Yes indeed. Let's peel it. Pretty much this looks brand, this looks brand new now. Look at this. Pretty much a brand new panel like that. That's one panel. One panel to do, so let's... Let's just do this one panel. There you go. Rust is pretty much gone. Actually, it's, it's totally pretty much there's a small speckle of rust, but I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's anything major. But anyways, one thing I'm mean, I'm theorizing and thinking about is making is modding the other cases to have PSU covers, but let's head back inside and let's explore that idea. Okay, so my plan is is to take maybe an existing side panel off of those cheap office PCs and bend it, because the office PC is rubber, rough, the side panel is like this big, to bend it and make a really cheap PSU cover that looks decent. Well, yeah, yeah it's, um, Let's just say, very jank. But I think it's, I think it should warrant a try. Anyways, since I got ten PSU, since then I got like at least twenty of these covers. I'm gonna go see if this will work. And uh, as I said before, that's the do the measurements. It has to be three fifty millimeter wide, ninety high, and one hundred forty depth. L, like this L. So pretty much, so pretty much, the depth is like the flat platform in the case. Uh, uh. High is like the front, and the wide is how wide the case is. Well, not how wide, but like to a point because it's still pretty fancy. That's why we left 350. So pretty much. So as we take this shit case like this one, like this. I don't know if we can achieve it. That's a good, that's a good point. That's good. Also, the hammer this shit out. Hammer, hammer, How wide? How? We're, we're gonna get a ruler. Let's see how wide this shit goes. Coming up on Joseph Zangfler's PCs, Joseph continues to make a DIY PSU cover. Will it work? And he finally makes his trip down to Taranka to pick up 10 office PCs.